<laughs> See you there? <laughs> Here he goes, hey Charles, what happened? Uh -oh. gonna Why are you hiding him? I'm taking it all back, Pencil, this is a mess. Show yourself. I'm doing an, an update. They just moved the car a little bit so you can see okay. it walking into the car. Okay, Compromise. There he is on the car. Not the car, yeah. Oh, we, we came this side of the came up a little bit. No, we, we came to the right, of the right side of the mountain. Now. The ranch is up there. It's up in there? Straight up in there. Yeah. Almost straight up. The ocean's over there? Right. Oh, look at this. Hi. So we were on this side? Yeah. No, no, sunrise no is in the east. Oh, it's west. <laughs> yeah, this is. <laughs> yeah, but the sun is south. Chris, this is west. Of, this is west. Where's this the is ocean? East. This is east. The ocean is that way, over the mountain. What? There he is. Did you split your ticket? Did you split your ticket or vote straight Republican? There's my advice to everyone today that this Ellis vote is voting. I don't let anybody tell me things like that. Walked in and handed the ballot. They didn't even know. Here they come. What did you vote for, Mr. President? <laughs> Who did you vote for? <laughs> Who did you vote Straight for? Straight Republican Mr. ticket? <laughs> you won in Dixville Knox, Mr. President. <laughs> On the basis of our exit polls, I know who won, but I can't tell you. Great. Chief say, 
there. I think she said, I can't tell you or I won't tell you. Well, you think you're likely to win. Let's say I'm cautiously out there. What do you think, Mr. Thank you. I don't say this. How are you feeling? Is it great? I'm glad it's over. How's your head? Your thumb. That's all. I don't feel like you're going out, Mark. Thank you. We got two more. There's a survey of blanks. Faith gives the most closely watched Senate race in the country. Especially in view of speculation that he might be in a position to claim chairmanship of the prestigious Foreign Relations Committee. A prospect that has incited his fans and horrified his critics. Gentlemen. Well, the Helms, victory, Helms victory in North Carolina certainly will please a lot of people beyond the boundaries of North Carolina. And it's going to turn considerable attention out of the Senate race in Illinois, where the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Charles Frisbee, is very tough right now with Congressman Paul Simon, who's a Democrat. ABC News now wishes to project the state of Maryland at the presidential level, the state of Maryland for President Reagan. Oh, 
Mr. President, all three networks have projected you as the winner. What's your reaction, sir? Mr. Falwell, thank you for coming in. As I said, one of cautious optimism, I wouldn't wait till I get it official. What does official mean? Not at all. They've got to pick on somebody that's got them all the president. Is definitely in so far Mr. President, assuming you do have a very broad and deep mandate, what are you going to do with it in your second term? Very happy to carry on the program. Mr. Powell, let me ask you, while majority is now becoming part of our national currency, what is your legislative agenda for a second Reagan inflation? Well, as strong as defense, defense, my legislative agenda is, I think that we can uh, make now that the president is uh, get arms a mandate, reductions. But to what extent do you think you can do something new to get the Soviets to resume on. negotiations? The Soviets know, know now they must deal with a very strong president. And uh, in asking. addition to that, I think you'll see some of the social issues what are we going front to burner. Do? I, the ones again, to wait the I feel that what are they going the to do? Do you expect big shake-up, sir? Uh, you're going to change the cabinet, a lot of new faces? The president will. But uh, I believe that judging from the quality of Mrs. O'Connor, it's always, only a point thus far. Uh, we can trust the president to as select as they candidates who will stand for the same people in life, born and unborn, who will stand up for a strict interpretation of the Constitution. Right. So, could, could we ask Mrs. Mrs. Reagan on camera how she feels? Is can that we just turn on the lights for that? Yeah, the president yeah, speaking. Yes, yeah. 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 What do you think the vote really means? Do you think that the country okay. has gone you. conservative? Wait, wait. He will. And so in the I House, think there I has been a change. You'll take up about 30 seats the there. Has seen the the I think like the government the has seen other policies really that failed. That, uh, he went and to they have, to do four years uh, they've seen 30 now. seats, you say, in the House? There's, there's been a growing tendency that's, that's my guess, and become I, I, more I, aware of the intrusiveness of the federal government. I hope I'm right. Our opinion is showing that 69% of people describe themselves as born against Christians. Born against this is what's happened, and they see now the president. And you mentioned Mr. Mondale. Mrs. Reagan, how do you feel? You 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 bumped your head yesterday. Tell us what happened last night. Surely you'd like to have a say about that. You bumped your head. Tell us how you feel. Work on the platform. You seemed a little wobbly, Mrs. Reagan. You a little dizzy. Well, if you if you bump your head, wouldn't you feel a little wobbly? Well, what happened? What happened? But all federal I got out of bed to. Committed to the sanctity of human life, to the constitutional rights the of the born and the unborn. So uh, I feel the president, platform. I think it's his platform. I, I think and he's I pleased with it. And, and I, I feel that in the next four header. years, uh, Ronald Reagan is going to make the appointment. Are you going to be downstairs for the uh, celebration tonight? Sure. But, what are your uh, thoughts about being first lady for the next four years? As a great majority of the Americans want to do. We helped register with, uh, millions of voters the last six years. My friend here, are you happy and they're he's won? The today everywhere. Of course Voting I am. Are you going to say he's won even if he doesn't? Committed to helping oh. rebuild this country. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have. Oh, oh you Chris, you, you tricked me. <laughs> Mr. President, in your second term, do you think you'll get a chance uh, to go to the Soviet Union? Would you like to? In this election campaign. Well, whether I wonder whether or not you think it will continue. And whether if it does continue, it's a good thing. Well, I think in the ETS, years, years, it's time for us to get together and talk about a great many things and try to clear the air and the suspicions between us so we can get down to the business of reducing that, particularly nuclear weapons. Any new or different initiative on spending, Mr. President? To continue trying to make it go. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States, Mrs. Reagan, and the family.
think that's just been arranged. Just a short time ago, Walter Mondale phoned me and who know what he told me. He told me that the he Nancy and I would would like to express I'd like to mention this evening. First, Nancy and I want to express the As far as I'm concerned, there has never been a finer vice president. Uh, Paul is in Washington, and there is no better personal friend that I've ever had, and there's no better ally to have at your side when you're in a campaign. Well, we're grateful for all that you've done over the years. And all of you there at the Shoreham Hotel Ballroom, a deep thanks for all of you. Paul would be the first to say how much help he had and what an outstanding job was done by Ed Rollins, our campaign director. Please know how grateful I am for the way you put together the finest campaign organization, I think, in the history of America. Thanks to Mayor Margaret Hintz, our deputy campaign chairman. She gave of her time so generously. Back in Washington. Don't bump the camera. And all those dedicated people that work with him, Gates, well, they give politics a good name. We wouldn't have enjoyed this victory tonight without them. And now I have a special thank you for something that began here in this state almost 20 years ago. First here in California, one that would capture the intensity of our devotion to freedom and no, the strength of our commitment to American ideals. Well, we began to carry a message to every corner of the nation. A that's really why we're here tonight. This electoral victory belongs to you and the principles that you cling to, principles struck by the brilliance and bravery of patriots more than 200 years ago. Part of that prairie fire that we still think defines America, a fire of hope that will keep alive the planning together. We rolled up our sleeves and began working <laughs> together. We said we would get inflation under control to each of you. You know, so many people act as if this election means the end of something. The vision, the vision we outlined in 1980, indeed the passion of the fire that we kept burning for two decades.